Hello, Pastor Chandler here to talk about the Ten Commandments once again. But we've run out of commandments. We've gone through all ten already. But there is a closing to these commandments. So what is this closing? Well, we read in Luther's small catechism, what does God say about all these commandments? He says, I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, punishing the children for the sin of the fathers to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing love to a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. What does this mean? God threatens to punish all who break these commandments. Therefore, we should fear his wrath and not do anything against them, but he promises grace and every blessing to all who keep these commandments. Therefore, we should also love and trust in him and gladly do what he commands. So, if you do something wrong, should you be punished? Actually, yes. A punishment is meant so that you do not continue doing something wrong. So in order to make sure you're not doing something wrong, you get punished. And this is something your parents might do. They might punish you for something you do wrong to make sure that you don't do this thing again. But does that mean that your parents don't love you? Well, no, of course not. Your parents love you. They love you so much that they are trying to make sure you don't do something wrong again by punishing you. And God loves us even though we might break the commandments. And to be sure, we have broken the commandments in some way, each and every one of us. But through Jesus Christ, God forgives us. So Jesus is the one who on the cross took our punishment for breaking the Ten Commandments on himself so that when he died, he took the punishment for our sins. And when Jesus Christ rose from the dead, he rises into new life so that we, having our punishment given to Jesus for breaking the Ten Commandments, we are brought into new life like Jesus is brought into new life, being risen to new life so that we might do what God wants us to do, loving him as he loves us and obeying the commandments he has given us to do. Well, that's it for the Ten Commandments. Join me next time for when we start the Apostles' Creed. God bless.